Hi guys! This is the third attempt on making a video. I don't know why it's so difficult. I'm using an iMac and this is the first time I've been using one. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my Phantom of the Opera Dio. I, I've already posted this up on Facebook. I've gotten a ton of really positive responses on it. Um, and uh, I, I'm trying to make a video of my progress with all these diodes. I'm trying to kind of do a tutorial, sort of, um, if you want to call it that, I don't know. But I want to show you what my mind process, if you want to call it that, my thought process, is on making these things. And just to go about what I'm doing, what I've been using, and how I go about looking for inspiration. What I've been doing is basically I like to replicate movie scenes or a comic book scene or a video game scene. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of movie scenes because I it's just fun. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, this one is the Phantom of the Opera Dio and I'm going to turn it right now over here so you guys can see it. Um, do, 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 do. Ba -ba. Okay. Okay. Base. Two structures on it. And for you to kind of get the idea, um, it's the uh, Phantom of the Opera movie with Gerard Butler. Uh, the one where, I, don't, I forgot, it's in the mid-2000s or early 2000s, I think. Okay, so this is the base, as you can see. It's a little three-dimensional. Uh, all this is going to have water, resin. Okay, and then I'm probably going to do a little, a few layers of Mod Podge on top of the resin to simulate waves and ripples and whatnot. Um, I did a lot of carving as far as carving type of stone I did like five little scrap pieces of foam and I carved it out to make it rock both both sides have rock structures on it these are fish tank pebbles or rocks and of course I started carving out or pulling out little pieces of rock of foam until I realized I had a bag full of these real ones and so I started using that uh, so this scene is where he takes the lady, I don't know her name, I'm not a huge fan of Phantom of the Opera, it's just a request, um, takes her down in his little gondola canoe, down, down, down into his little underground lair, okay? Um, this piece right here, if you go and Google Phantom of the Opera, scenes or theme you'll see him in his little boat going down this little archway I think it's this way or this way I don't remember um so he goes down through there I wanted to show you it looks like painted and raw now again I carved all the stones I you know I did little notches with the with the blade to simulate you know individual stones that are put together and I punched the crap out of it with a piece of rock, okay? Um, this is black latex paint that you can buy Home Depot or Menards or wherever. This will last quite a bit, and I like the look that it gives. It's latex paint, so it gives it a good coating. Um, as you can see... And I'm sorry there's some noise in the background. Somebody's cutting their grass. But I think this is going to look really badass. And in the background, I'm going to draw out the... You, you'll you see it if you look at the picture. It's a wall, and it has like this window with some wrought iron in it and some stairs all the way back here where he's going to go down to his lair. Um... So I'm going to paint that up instead of putting up another piece of foam board here. I think that might look even cool. It kind of looks three-dimensional because it'll go from here like this 
following the water into the back of the wall. I think that would look pretty cool if, if I can make it look like that. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to say, but I might just do a video after I'm done painting it all black and then I can start doing the actual, I think I'm going to do like a, a sandstone coloring. That's what it kind of looks like, but it's going to be very dark. It's very dim down there. And obviously I'm going to do the, the painting and the water. What I'm going to do is a mix of blue and green and I'm going to do some swirls. And there's some lights underneath the water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to simulate that, I'm going to put like probably down here and down here, um, like a bright yellow in the middle white and then let it spread out like that and it'll just look like there's light under there because I don't have LED lights I'm not gonna mess with it right now because I I don't really know how to do that so other than that uh, stay tuned stay tuned to see what comes about next and <clears throat> I want to thank you guys for liking all my videos. I see that some of them are getting a lot, a lot of views and, and quite a few likes. And I want to thank you. I really do appreciate it. And it's basically because I've seen a lot of tutorials a lot before I started doing this just to get an idea. And then you kind of follow your own niche. You, you, you follow what you want to do. Some people like doing the ACBA stuff, which is completely awesome. They they um, make dioramas to put their action figures on. And then they do a little toy photography, and that's really, really cool. I found, for me, since I'm a big film buff, I love to recreate scenes. Like I said, whether it's a movie, a video, or a, a comic book. Um... I like to recreate scenes and it's just like a challenge for me to see if I can make it look just like it. Um, so I'm going to continue doing that until I kind of run, run out of ideas. But um, but yeah, um, I wanted to give a thanks to Al, Al Figures on YouTube and um, he is one of the guys that I was looking at first and looking at his tutorials and seeing his thought process and he actually told he wrote me and he's like I really like to know what your thought process is when you're doing these things and I told him okay well I'll try to do some videos instead of slideshows which is what I've been doing so Al thank you very much I really do appreciate it you guys you and the rest of you guys um, on dial structure really rock and thank you um, Dial Structure on Facebook is a great group of people who showcase their talents and their dioramas on there. They show their, their progress, their work in progress, and then they show the end results. And I think that's fantastic. Quite a lot of people are on there. Uh, they're joining the group every day. And, you know, you just get a lot of positive, positive feedback from these people. And it makes someone feel really good about what they do. So check them out, Dial Structure on Facebook. Join them up and check out people's work. It's really, really cool. YouTube. I mean, if you want to learn um, how people do their process, type it in. Type in, you know, dioramas, terrain. I get my ideas from people who do mini wargaming. They do terrains. They do railroads. Um, World War II dioramas. It's just little things here and there that you can apply to your diorama and make it look even better. So I'm looking at all that stuff. Uh, but again, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate you watching this. If you like it, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. Um, I will have a lot more, I promise. So thank you once again. Um, you guys rock. You guys really do. And I hope you get really good ideas from watching this and watch other guys and girls that do this and they have videos on YouTube. Just go and look at it. Find it. Okay? You guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.